What's up, my lesson traders? Welcome to another video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be discussing CEI. We're going to be discussing why am I bullish on CEI? Why have I been bullish on CEI? What are some things that you need to be aware of when it comes to CEI? What are some technical levels? What is happening to CI? Why is it down about 10% on daily at the time of recording this video? And much, much more. So without further ado, what I want you guys to do is to hit the thumbs up button. And now let's get this video on CI, its future, where it's headed, and much, much more stuff. <laughs> But guys, before we begin, this video is brought to you by the money team, aka the Patreon, aka the Get Rich Dude Again. This is the number one trailer community you will ever want to be a part of. Now, why is that? That's because, guys, not only our calls have been up over 140% just in the previous two months alone, but we have now decided to purchase some option calls from a community which charges $100 per month for their options. And now you can get access to those option alerts and our option alerts for only five dollars a month that's right you heard that right patreons or rather traders five dollars a month join the community you get our option trade alerts and the other community's option trade alerts, which charges a hundred dollars per month now if you guys want to know what community this is do join the patreon and you will see exactly what community this is because we actually give them credit in every single post that we post and you guys are free to check out their own program right once you join our patreon and see what trades are we posting all right so with that being said do check out the program guys i'm telling you it's absolutely worth it however i do recommend you joining the 20 dollars tier as that's the one that comes with the trade alerts it comes with the discord it comes with the options plays the the outsourced ones it comes with the exclusive videos it comes with the lessons it comes with the 200 dollars giveaway and it also comes with a one-on-one -on -one access to me that means you and i get to talk in private you can ask me hey what do you think about this stock what do you think about this position what are the technicals on this what is that what is this blah 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 Check out the program. It's absolutely worth it. Now, let's get talking about uh, uh, my PC. Um, uh, let's get talking about um, Excella, uh, or rather CI, CI, CI. What is happening to CI? Well, CI today, guys, is having some of, somewhat of a lump day. Now, this lump day is somewhat expected after a parabolic run that CI went on to yesterday. But however, a lot of it does also have to do with the market, okay? The oil market. Now, the oil market today took a massive hit after basically there was some pushback from the EU companies explaining that, listen, we don't want you to freaking go through with this Russian oil embargo. Now, what is an oil embargo? This is basically an oil ban, okay? That's basically what a... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That's basically what an embargo is, right? They basically said that, and now, the and now the market's panicking, and oil, you know, there was an oil release, and now the oil prices are in shock, and then the Fed came out, the Fed was more hawkish, so everything's just in a in a frenzy right now, right? However, with everything in a frenzy, right? With everything in a frenzy, I know earlier in the video, I said that at the time of recording this video, the stock is down 10%, but however, luckily for you guys, I had to pause the video, go do some things, come back, and now... CI is flat. CI has fully recovered that 10% and is sitting at about a dollar and five cents. So this is absolutely bullish for CI, right guys? It is holding up these levels and it is holding up these levels when the oil market is down 5%. Guys, when oil, oil is a commodity, okay? When oil as a commodity is down 5%, we expect oil related stocks to be hit in the head and be hit in the head hard. For example, let's look at, let's take a look at Indo, right? Another oil play. Indo is down almost 5%. Let's take a look at IMPP, a stock which people love is down five, is down 6% now, right? While CEI is holding up. Now, why is CEI doing this and what makes CEI special? Well, this is something that I've been preaching about on this channel for the previous freaking three months, right? As to what is the reason why I love CI. That's because guys, CI isn't only an energy play. This is a hybrid play, okay? This is a hybrid of energy sector play and also meme stock retail momentum sector combined together to give us CEI, okay? Now, why does this matter? Well, that's because guys, that means that CEI has two groups of catalysts that can move the stock, right? If oil is doing well, CEI moves well with the oil. If the market is doing well and the retail is on and the retail stocks are doing well, CI is doing well. And that's exactly what we're getting today, right? Where the red is kind of dragging CI down. The oil sector red is kind of dragging CI down. But the green that we have from the SPY, right? The SPY at the time of recording this video, guys, is up really nice, right? It's up about 1.2%, guys, okay? And then what is the SPY? Well, the SPY is the index, right? It's the market index. 
right? So the general the general market is bringing is pulling CI to one side while the oil sector is pulling CI to one side and CI is kind of just stuck in the middle right now at the flat day. Now this is good. Why is this good? Because I predict this green in the market to last. Now, why do I say that I expect this green in the market to last? That's because guys, Tesla's earnings are coming out on 420. I know Elon Musk 420, pretty funny, right? Elon Musk's uh, uh, Tesla's earnings are coming out on 420. And what is what does it matter? That's because guys, I predict that Tesla's earnings are going to be very, very bullish for the company. And when Tesla does well, the S&P 500 does well, which is the market index. Now, what does the S&P 500 do well when Tesla does well? That's because guys, what is the test? What is the what is the Tesla? No, what is the S&P 500, right? The S&P 500 guys, is a market index okay it is basically an index built up of the top 100 or rather s p 500 is that s p 500 yeah this time built up the um the top 500 biggest companies in the united states okay my bad guys i'm just keeping an eye out on the chart of ci as well while i'm talking to you guys that's why a little bit all over the place but um yeah right so it basically tracks the top 500 biggest companies in the united states and what is elon musk's tesla a trillion dollar company it is one of the biggest companies in the united states okay hence when tesla makes a massive jump maybe top 10 percent, maybe top 15 percent, maybe top 8 percent then that gets correlated into the s p 500 and the s p 500 moves with the stock as well okay and it causes the stock to be a little bit more volatile as well which is amazing because that means if the tesla earnings are good and tesla does good then the whole market does well and so does ci okay now let's get talking about a little bit that's as to what is ci doing right now now let's get talking about the technicals well when it comes to the technicals guys ci needs to break past this dollar and um let's just go on the let's go on the 15 minute chart why not let's go on the 15 minute chart Okay, so as we see, we have clear, clear resistance here, guys, at at these levels at a dollar and eight cents, right? A dollar and eight cents. So I would say a dollar and eight cents to a dollar and ten cents. If it breaks a dollar and ten cents, guys, this stock is going to look bullish like it has never done before, right? Because it shows that it has fully cleared now the dollar range and it has solidified its place in one dollar, right? Holding one dollar. Because right now, guys, we are also still getting a little bit of a flip floppy, right? We're getting some flip floppy over here. The stock is down a little bit, right? The stock went down to um a, a 90 cents. However, we did get a harsh, harsh rebound off 90 cents, which is amazing. That's exactly what you want to see, right? A company actually holding its technicals. Now on the 15 minute chart, guys, we have the WeWa up here at 99 cents, okay? So that's also gonna give us some support on the, 99, in the 15 minute chart. Now, when we go over here, right, we see some support over here again, once again, at this 98 cent level as well, right? Uh, what is this? 97 to 98 cent level, right? We did gap up, guys, mind you, we did gap up from 91 cents all the way upwards of 97 cents, right? And as we know, gaps fill up both ways, okay? So do keep an eye out on this 96 to 97 cent range, okay? Because this is gonna be important as to, if we break this, we are back to 91. If we're back to 91 and we break 91, then we are back down to 80s, okay? And 80s, not a good look for CI at least, okay? At least. So mind you, this is a catalyst play and things with oil are going to, in my opinion, going to get only worse Right. And Russia is probably going to get banned. OK, in my opinion, because, listen, I'm I'm a stock trading freaking professional, not a geopolitical advisor professional. OK, so I don't know. Shit, I'm just guessing. here. I'm just throwing throwing darts while my eyes are covered, basically. But however, let's just say I predict that oil is going to get worse. Who knows? Who knows? So I don't know. You tell me, is oil going to get worse? Looks like it. Okay, so with that being said, do keep that in mind now. I don't know if I actually addressed this already or not, but um, you know, a lot of people come after me when they're like, oh, oh, you were bearish on the company at zero point at, at $1 before, and now you're bullish on it at a dollar. Listen, I was bearish on the company at a dollar before, and I told you guys to sell at a dollar, and then what happened? The stock fell all the way back down to 0 0.70 cents. Did it not? It did. Okay, when the stock was at 0 0.70 cents, what did I tell you guys? I said, pick some up, buy some. These prices are good in order to jump in and buy some CEI. What happens now? The stock is once again over a dollar. Okay, now why am I saying this? That's because guys, a lot of people have the wrong mindset and they think that flip-flopping is a bad thing. 
When it comes to trading, you must flip flop. You need to flip flop, guys. You're trading. You're not high conviction investing. Okay. If the chart is bullish, I'm bullish. If the chart is bearish, I'm bearish. And that's just how it goes. Okay. This is not high conviction trade stock investing. This is trading. When chart setups change, you as a good trader needs to adapt. Okay, so do keep that in mind. Okay, do keep that in mind. And that's why I post videos on CI like every other day, right? Where you guys get to see my take as to, okay, is it bearish today? Is it looking bullish? Is it bearish? Is it bearish? Is it bullish, right? That's the, that's the point of keeping you guys updated on an almost daily basis. If you guys like these videos, do the thumbs up button and also subscribe and also do check out the Patreon, okay? Because I, like I said, you're getting the best value of it, really. Thanks for watching. Happy investing and trading. Money talk to gay traders.